Hi right, chaps, it's uh, Richie Wheels here. Um, now Ian seventy five has asked a question about some CCTV for his cover his bike. Uh, he's got a max budget of three hundred pounds. Yeah, I did pipe up to say that um, I did a post here yeah, that I've got this my own setup done and it's uh, running on this PC that you're seeing at the minute. Uh, and Frenchy asked if I could uh, show how it was done, so that's the purpose of this video. Now looking at how much he's got, £300, um, if you go onto the Maplin website, they currently have a setup for £300, that's four cameras on a 320 gigabyte um, DVR digital video recorder, um, that'll work perfectly fine, that'll get you going, no problems at all, um, you can connect to it from your phone if you've got something like an iPhone or something. You can connect to it and uh, view your, uh, your CCTV. Um, but the way I've done it is a little bit different. I bought myself a um, PC DVR, so it runs in my desktop rather than having a big box to run from. So I'll show you what one looks like. Here's one on eBay. You got the uh, four channels there, so you can put four cameras in to record. Now it's uh, buy it now price seventeen ninety nine. I actually paid sixty quid for mine from Maplin. Um, I should have really got it off eBay. I'd have saved myself a lot of money, but sixty quid. Now the beauty of this is you can connect whatever cameras you want to use to the system rather than having to use um, cameras that are given to you in a set. Uh, the good thing about this is you've got a whole wide range of cameras to use. If, if you want to be fancy, you can put a PTZ up so you can move it around and stuff. Or that's a night vision one with a long distance night vision. Uh, and also small ones and wireless ones. The list's endless, really. Uh, let's have a look. Lots and lots of different cameras. I'll show you my setup. I've currently got one of them in, like I said, £60 I bought mine from Maplin inside my desktop. It's really simple to fit, just take off the side, there's a slot inside, the PCI slot, you stick it in, it's it's no harder than sticking in a USB really, um, and then install the software. Now I've got some software that I came with mine so I don't mind uh, sharing that, but if you go on to, uh, I think it's the Swan website, that's uh, Swan with two ends uh, you'll be able to download software anyway <coughs> now here's mine this is what I've got set up at the minute this is this although I've got two screens it's just running on the one PC I just like to have two screens when, when I'm working because I'll edit video on here and still have my cameras up on here um, so this is it you can uh, click on the picture to see it large see it even bigger this is real time at the minute they have got the back garden and uh, currently the front door which also watches over my bike um, now the good thing about this is if you got the little icon here that's to uh, oh, oh, what was that? hold <laughs> on a minute ok no thanks hey baby oh my god it looks like I've been on something dodgy now I'll get rid of this there we go. That was because I was on live leak before. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to cover myself now. Um, I was going to say, oh yeah, you can have it onto um, onto onto this motion, so it flicks through. I don't really like that myself. Um, yes, if I press the little button here, it brings up this timeline. Now you can go onto the dates. Uh, select the date when you want to go to to watch the, the footage from that day really really simple you see the yellow bars here these represent um, key points that have been recorded on the cameras uh, the current setup is all motion detection uh, rather than having it running 24 7 constantly recording I prefer to have motion detection on uh, only records if something moves or one of me lights outside is triggered or something like that then it starts recording and it just makes it easier to um, to review footage back real quickly uh, rather than having a full solid 24 hours to review this shows me every point 
the cameras have been triggered. So if I press this to select all the cameras and press play, it starts playing from last night. I've got it set quite fast at the minute just to uh, to show you. As you can see, it's, the cameras are triggering in different places. People walking past and stuff setting off the cameras. Uh, little things like spiders and flies can set off the cameras. Cat walking in your garden, just the uh, infrared shining back off their eyes can set it off as well. So <clears throat> that's that. Uh, as I say, select the date, click on it. There's all that these uh, images that were recorded. Really simple. Uh, click out of that, takes you back. Uh, I'll go outside and show you my setup. Now the one by my front door is slightly hidden. Um, it's underneath the plastics. As you can see. I think that was about 50 quid. But this was the one that was used and caught some lads that were trying to steal my bike. Um, after I seen the footage I put this one up, which is a 150 watt uh, passive infrared light. Uh, I also installed a 500 watt here. And just under there you got the other two cameras. Back garden and driveway. Don't forget to have your, your lock on your bike. And one on the front and one on the back. Uh, yeah, I think the camera that was hidden that actually caught the lads was about 50 quid. Um, so not a bad price. I'll just double check for you online now. Exactly what it was. Have a look. Uh, I think the one I just showed you was that one, which is currently 50 quid. So that's that. I'll post this video on the forum and uh, also take some pictures. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try and answer them.